And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, the 19th of March, 2020. It's the birthday of the novelist Philip Roth, born in Newark, 1933. Philip Roth, who said, Far from being the classic period of explosion and tempestuous growth, my adolescence was more or less a period of suspended animation. The best of adolescence was the intense male friendships, not only because of the cozy feelings of camaraderie they afforded boys coming unstuck from their close-knit families, but because of the opportunity they provided for uncensored talk. These marathon conversations, characterized often by raucous discussions of hoped-for sexual adventure and by all kinds of anarchic joking, were typically conducted, however, in the confines of a parked car, two, three, four, five of us in a single steel enclosure, just about the size and shape of a prison cell, and similarly set apart from ordinary ordinary human society. By the time he was 26, after college, Philip Roth had published his first book, the novella Goodbye Columbus, classic story of adolescence. And in the 50-plus years since, he published more than 30 books, including Portnoy's Complaint and American Pastoral. Philip Roth said, I would be wonderful with a 100-year moratorium on literature talk if you shut down all literature departments, close the book reviews, ban the critics. As soon as you generalize, you are in a completely different universe than that of literature, and there's no bridge between the two. It's the birthday of the comedian Moms Mabley, Jackie Mabley, born in Brevard, North Carolina, 1894, where she had a horrible, horrible life. Parents died in separate accidents. She was raped twice as a teenager, had two children who were then taken from her. She was being forced into a marriage with an older man. So at the age of 14, she moved away to Cleveland, where she met the vaudeville team Butterbeans and Susie, and she went on the Chitlin circuit, African-American vaudeville performers, and she became tremendously successful, earning more than $10,000 a week. 1939, she became the first woman comedian to perform at the Apollo Theater. Here's a poem for today by Wendell Berry, A Purification. At start of spring, I open a trench in the ground. I put into it the winter's accumulation of paper. Pages I do not want to read again. Useless words, fragments, errors. And I put into it the contents of the outhouse. Light of the sun, growth of the ground, finished with one of their journeys. To the sky, to the wind then, and to the faithful trees, I confess my sins that I have not been happy enough, considering my good luck, have listened to too much noise, have been inattentive to wonders, have lusted after praise. And then, upon the gathered refuse of mind and body, I close the trench, folding shut again, the dark, the deathless earth. Beneath that seal, the old escapes into the new. A poem by Wendell Berry, a purification from his new collected poems, published by Counterpoint and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.